Welcome back everyone. I came to the realization today that I have like nine more type videos to go. I don't know, when I made this video, I was under the impression that I was almost done, and shit, god damn it, there are a lot of Pokemon types. And, you know, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm dedicated, I'm getting them all, and today's is flying. I don't feel like I need to tell you again that there's not gonna be any legendaries in this, because they're in their own goddamn video, but... There's not gonna be any legendaries in this, because they're getting their own goddamn video, let's get started, goddamn it. Number five, Talonflame, sixth generation. You know, honestly, I feel like Talonflame has one of the cooler designs of the entire generation and one of the top coolest designs in, for a basic Pokemon anyways, throughout the entire goddamn series. The whole collection and roster of fucking Pokemon. I mean, the color scheme is really cool. You got the black and the red and the yellow. It's just a really cool design. And fun fact, it's only the second Firebird in all of Pokemon. The first, mind you, is a goddamn legendary. Hole Trace. That's pretty cool to me. In terms of battling, bird types, or well, flying types, aren't necessarily the greatest. You know? The stats are always mad, but they always have good speed, and Talonflame does have good speed. But other than that, it's mostly it's, you know, it's mostly because of the design is really cool and it's a fire type, so it is useful. But I mean, it's not exceptional in battle, but I had to put it on here because it's just it's a really it really is a good Pokémon if you don't have a huge amount of expectations. I do feel like eventually we'll probably get a mega evolution of it, which will make it even cooler. But until then, it's kind of a basic in battle. But it does have good speed, and it can use fly, and it's a fire bird, and uh, now it's time for number four. A lot of you may be surprised at number four, which is Golbat. You know, even when I was making the list, I was a little surprised that I ended up, you know, after justifying and arguing with my fucking self whether or not Golbat should even be on there. Mostly because of, you know, the angst we all have, or at least us who, you know, played Generation 1 games back in the day. Most of the angst we have against Zubat, which is incredibly annoying Pokemon. Oh my god. How can you fit a billion of them motherfuckers in one goddamn cave? That's ridiculous. And Zubat's not even that good of a Pokemon. But Golbat's pretty cool. It's a major upgrade from Zubat. There aren't as many of them, and they're more powerful, and it looks cooler. It's a big-ass mouth. Fun fact about its mouth, though, and its gender ratio, is it's 50-50. So there's a 50% chance that you can put that mouth to use, if you know what I mean. It's good for poison shit, too. And in battle, it's not so bad. It's not exceptional. Uh, you know, but... I don't know. I had to put him on here just because it was kind of a new revelation sort of situation. And it's one of the first few bats we got, because we've got plenty of bats since then. We've had like a bat every fucking generation. Let's go to number three now. You know how I shit talk bat Pokemon there just a little bit? Well, it makes it ironic because number three is another bat. One a bat that I never in a billion years Did I say that already? How about the last one? Thought that I would ever put on a top favorites list. It's a new revelation too. And number three is Swoobat, which is really close, at least in the pronunciation wise, to Zubat. And the last one was fucking Golbat. Listen, I've recently started replaying Black, alright? And I've reached the conclusion that Swoobat is actually pretty goddamn useful. A lot more useful than some of the other bird or, well, flying types you get to start out with or catch early in the game. Because it's dual typing is psychic, which makes it, you know, useful, a little versatile. You know? So, yes, okay, I put Swoobat on here. 
You know, I was reading up on his uh, Pokedex a little bit, and it's known as the Courting Pokemon, which I guess that would mean it's really good with the ladies. Like, it really knows how to treat a female bat, a lady bat, a bitch bat. Which I wouldn't expect, because that face, oh my god, that face is so ugly. Let's move on to number two. Dialing it all the way back to, you know, generation one again. I mean, God, I mean, Aerodactyl is fucking awesome. He's a fossil Pokemon, literally, because that's what the Pokedex tells me. And, you know, you, you choose Aerodactyl, this big ass, rock ass, fucking Aerodactyl fossil, scrawny, but huge, big ass jaw thing. I mean, in the anime, he was really cool, too. He's just a fucking beast. And when they give him that mega evolution, it's a little too spiky for me, but it's still fucking awesome because Aerodactyl was already really good. Oh, and thank Arceus that it has good speed and attack. A lot of these flying types don't have really good attack. Aerodactyl does, and it gets even better with the Mega. So, you can't really go wrong with Aerodactyl. God damn it. Good design, generation one, good in battle. Can't go wrong. Are you ready for number one? Yeah! Coming in at number one. The bird Pokemon. Either pronounced Pidgeot or Pidgeot. Pidgeot sounds weird. And I mostly hear Pidgeot. I always called him Pidgeot. Sorry, bro. There's nothing really that special about Pidgeot. Alright? But... Pidgey was the very first, very first bird Pokemon I ever caught. Very first flying type, rather. So, <sighs> Pidgeot's not super powerful, but you know what is? Nostalgia. Never said that word on this channel before. When it comes to Pidgeot, okay, you have a good, good speed, decent battling, so you can't hate on him too hard. I mean, you put him up against some other of these birds, like you put him up against Aerodactyl, Pidgeot's getting fucked the fuck up. But, you know, I have to pay homage, man. And I'm sorry, but I was fair. I gave a lot of these new generations, uh, I, uh, the, all of this, uh, this whole number five, this whole list was an all Gen 1. You know, I even went up to Gen 6 and, you know, what was it, Gen 5 or something like that? But I'm sorry, I had to give spot one to Pidgeot. Because he's an OG, man, and or at least OG for me. Your OG may be different because you may have started later, which is perfectly acceptable. So there you have it, my top five. What are yours? Do you know where you can put your number five? Your, yours? I've said this a billion times. Yeah, call me. I want you to send me all letters of your number. I'm just kidding. Just put them in the comment section. And tune in next time. We're eventually going to get through all these typings together. Bye.